thank you, Chris. Uh, <laughs> there is ice cream. There is. Uh, I, I hear there's some really hot, spicy wings too. That are <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we don't want any casualties. <laughs> no, no, no hospital trips in there, so. No pain, uh, no gain. No, no pain, no gain, yes, that's the spirit. Uh, uh, you know, first off, you know, the, the incredible amount of passion shown by Chris, Ari, Nisa, and their teams, you know, literally thousands of engineers behind them. Uh, it's incredible. My, I've been 16 months uh, at Intel. Uh, you know, don't say I'm counting months, but you know, <laughs> just kind of looking back, and uh, you know, each month is kind of like a, it's it's doubling effect, right? And uh, it, you know, if you do the math, it fits. You know, it's kind of like it feels like um, I spent 40 years uh, uh, here at Intel already in the last 16 months. Now, um, you know, it's interesting. People still ask me, and because it. To me, it seems like kind of you know my last life ago that I joined Intel. That hey, why did you come to Intel? Right in there, and you know, still I walk the streets of San Francisco, run into somebody, and uh, they they still ask me the question. Um, you know, the last 23 years I've been doing uh, graphics. Uh, you know, everything in the stack. We've come a long way. Uh, it's incredible what the gaming community did to the advancement of computing. If you look at you know, the supercomputers of today, just the exascale computer that we announced a couple of days ago, what is it based on? It is based on the technology that you all helped push forward, right? Uh, now, is that the end? Is that like, you know, exascale computing end? No. 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 We, where we are today, I kind of, you know, think of, you know, how many people uh, have actually used a rotary phone? You know, you know what? Like, not, not, not a kid's toy that your parents gave, like, you know, a real rotary phone to die, right? Like, no, real, like, you know, serious in there. Yep. You had a rotary phone in Fiji. Yeah. Okay. So, from Fiji, we have a fan from Fiji here. Um, and that's where today I feel like our gaming, our visual, our virtual experiences are today is rotary form. Now imagine 10 years from now where things could be, right? I mean, today you see kids, four of them, five of them, you know, joining each other on some, you know, Apex Legends or Fortnite or something and playing a game and chatting, right? And kind of having kind of all kinds of conversation. You know, from rotary phone days, we have come a long way. But I want to be able to, you know, the number of people, by the way, that registered that wanted to be here was incredible. You know, when Chris said he was going to do this, it was literally, I think, less than two months ago that he wanted to do this event. You know, I didn't know <laughs> what scale he was thinking or what scale of, uh, you know, people we'd get. It's incredible how far we have come. Now, Coming back to why I came to Intel, to get from the rotary phone to where we are today, you know, the, the, it was clear to me the advancements in technology that we need, all the way from transistors, from packaging, fundamental architecture trans changes, memory, interconnect, security, and you all know about that. How do we make you know gaming safe, cheat free, and Last but not least, what Lisa covered, how do we build software for the next 10 years? If you look at Intel, across all these things that we call six pillars, we have billions and billions of dollars of investment. And, but none of this really matters, right? None of these technologies really matter if we don't understand the user which is most of you in this room, right? And, and the story Chris told about the RDC stuff, uh, right, you know, I, I was kind of, you know, joking when I told Chris, you guys, you know, in marketing, you get excited, you want to do, you know, turn everything into a product launch, you know, you want to pre-announce everything, you want to kind of, you know, create the hype and buzz. 
uh, way too soon. Uh, but <laughs> what the journey we are on is in a multi-year journey. And not just the journey we are on inside the company, inside Intel, all the engineering work we have to do, all the software work we need to do, but how do we bring the community along and how do we know we are solving the right problems for them? It's not just benchmark. We all start with, hey, what is you know the benchmark on NVIDIA or AMD or whatever, and you know, are we building something benchmark better? But are we building something that fundamentally solves user experiences? And that was basically the beginning of this journey uh, of the Odyssey stuff in there. So, uh, and you know, please, 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 we have some of our best engineers, a lot of them hanging around in this crowd. Interact with them all through night. Tell them, you know, what your experiences are. What do you do with the computers that we build? And you know, they are going to act on it. You saw Lisa. She's amazing. You know, she and her team. You know, listens to every post that you make, every abuse that you put on it. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and they, they still kind of, you know, smile, come in to work every day uh, to solve your problems. Now, in this journey between the user community, between the developer community, between the customer community, we have a lot of them in this, uh, in this crowd as well. Um, you know, one of the key people for us because just like us we build we take five years to build a fundamentally new architecture a new technology it's the same thing with people who build fundamentally new game engine experience so developers are are you know life partners right one of the uh, the community that we really 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 work uh, with is developers so i want to bring onto stage a couple of key developers that are in the crowd to just kind of you know talk about GDC, talk kind of what's going on around here. So uh, please welcome Toby and Hilmar. Toby is from Codemasters and Hilmar is from CCP. Have a seat or stand, you know, whatever, uh, <laughs> whatever works in there. So, hey, you know, it's been an excitement. And by the way, this GDC, the amazing amount of news, this GDC. In fact, I can't remember the last game developer conference that had so much excitement as this one, right? You know, the, the announcement from Google, you know, the Odyssey event. It's just the buzz seems, you know, extremely, uh, you know, positive. And maybe I'll start off with Hilmar. Like, what's going on? You know, that they tell us about both GDC and also like you know your guys' interaction with community. Uh, yes, uh, like you were saying, I, I think it's uh, really exciting that uh, uh, streaming might become a thing now. Um, I think we've been working with streaming companies in all forms and fashion over ten years now, since we got Team Online working on Kai Kai. But uh, now I think it actually might come together. There's some big companies doing some big things there. Uh, when it comes to us and community, then obviously that has been a big feature of our journey. Uh, Eve Online will turn 16 now in May. Uh, 16 years. 16 years old. Uh, and, uh, and we have players which have been with us uh, all of those 16 years. Uh, and um, obviously nobody really plays a game for 16 years. Uh, people stay. Uh, in, in EVE Online because of the community. People join because of the game and they stay because of the community. Uh, so we have built a lot of interaction venues. We have a democratically elected council that comes to Iceland twice a year to help our dev team plan out the next features, manage uh, economic concerns in the community and all those things. So uh, uh, really we are uh, here today talking about 16 year birthday of EVE Online because of our community. When, when can we get all invited to Iceland? Uh, <laughs> uh, so our next uh, fun event uh, is actually taking place in Amsterdam now on the weekend. Uh, so we're taking our fun event now on the road. We're going to Amsterdam, Russia. Yeah. I'm going to Australia. Uh, but in April uh, next year, there will be a, a huge one in Iceland. So you're all invited. Yeah. Yeah. Toby. 
yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for being here. So tell That's us about pleasure. like you know GDC streaming. You know, like what, what's 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 exciting you here? Exciting. Well, do you know what's a really interesting question? There's such a buzz around the industry this year. It's a really disruptive time for gaming. I think uh, on the one hand you've got real advances in cloud computing and streaming, as you say. On the other hand, there's the work that Intel are doing to raise the bar of performance across the spectrum of devices. And these are both really important for us as developers for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's accessibility. You know, there are a billion PCs in the world, yet we can only currently reach around 200 million devices across console and PC due to the level of visual fidelity within our titles. And secondly, it's the depth of the experience. You know, with increased horsepower and the ability to offload compute to the cloud, we as developers can create experiences which are more immersive, bigger, and more polished than ever before, and that's awesome. Yep, no, that's great. You know, the thing that I didn't mention is that our promise the trajectory we are on, we want to get over a billion PC users wow. have great gaming experience, right? And now that, you know, when that coupled with cloud, you know, Toby was, me were talking kind of before the start. I mean, you know, you said something really interesting about both breadth and the depth that you're going to Absolutely. do. Tell us a bit more about the depth of experiences, you know, with both. Well, the depth of the experience is all about cloud computing and streaming, you know. Once you take away those CPU and GPU limitations, you can, the sky's the limit, you know, the sky's the limit. And it doesn't have to be all online and all streamed, you know. It could be hybrid models between local compute using cloud computing to bolster the experience. And that's what's so exciting right now. There are so many different angles being taken by different hardware companies and software developers. Super cool. Hilmar, you're saying some very fascinating things about what you learned from community for 16 years. I mean, could you share some of the the, the, the fascinating experience that you guys had. Um, yes, uh, we have actually um, done a lot of um, uh, sort of stories of e players that have played the game for such a long time uh, because it's easy to say people are staying because of the community, but what does that really mean more specifically? Uh, and through interviewing e players, doing surveys, and, and things like that, we have actually found out uh, that e online creates new friendships. Uh, we more and more refer to e online as the friendship engine. Um, and if there is anything that uh, the World Health Organization has studied, the m number of deep, meaningful friendships you have actually are a leading indicator for how long you live, how happy you are, how healthy you are, and the purpose you have in life. So uh, we have, in a way, accidentally uh, created an engine that creates purpose, health, happiness, and longevity. Uh, <laughs> And, and, and I think sometimes the dialogue around games uh, is a little skewed because uh, people don't associate games necessarily with that. Yes. Um, and, uh, and we have just found uh, an amazing amount of purpose through understanding that what we are creating is a net benefit in life. Uh, especially because urban isolation, loneliness, uh, these are epidemic issues in the world today. And we have accidentally developed an antidote to it. So uh, I am quite excited of finding ways. I mean, even on is not maybe a huge game. It's, it's, it's bigger than my home country of Iceland. Which, so I think it's pretty big, but uh, it's not a billion people. Uh, but if we are to bring an experience to a billion people, I would wish for it to be something uh, that increases uh, friendship in the world. Yeah, sure. No, thank you, Hilmar, Toby, and you know they're here, and please talk to them. Fascinating stories, fascinating uh, things in there. Thank you. Thank you for joining us.